gentlemen, welcome back. I didn't plan on being back doing this YouTube shit, but here we are. I'm not gonna try and make this like a road to the IFBB show kind of bullshit series. I just kind of want to do it for like documenting my day to day. Okay? Even though we are in breath and we are gonna be getting on stage, like that's the overall goal. It's gonna be more just like how a competitor goes through life, okay? goes through day to day shit. So today, me and Corey will get into a push day. So I've got a bit of chest, shoulders, triceps, and a little bit of biceps. And then we'll go from there. We got some questions that we put on our poll for Instagram and shit. And we'll just fucking roll through a normal day like I normally would. I'll bring you guys with us. So, first of all, I'm gonna start off with cardio. We've got seven minutes on the bike, which seems like fuck all, but. It doesn't mean that I'm not working any less harder than anyone else, you know what I mean? So, I feel like people think that seven minutes is nothing, but if you think that, like, I won't get shredded. They're just not conditioned enough yet. <laughs> I'm still too fat, but we will get shredded, I promise. It gives me the gnarliest quad pump. Like, I think the hardest part about that is not even just the cardio. It's like trying to get up with the fucking quad pump afterwards. <laughs> Dude, my teardrop is like on fire. God. Boom, too. <laughs> Pumpy. I need to get this jump off as well, man. I have like a thing where I have to have. I have to do cardio on a jumper. It's like the most meathead thing ever. It's almost like if I don't do it in a jumper, I feel like it doesn't count. Like if it's not like uncomfortable, it's like you're not doing it right. If you're not suffering through heat exhaustion, you're not doing cardio, which is completely incorrect. <laughs> nice, eh? Help me go faster. <laughs> Conditioning brings conditioning faster. Got the red with the flame. I start off with doing a cable cuffed fly. Just a bit of a weird one, but for a mixture between low calories and cardio, my brain is just like, we're all okay. So just trying to get that thing off the path there. So what's the first question? Oh yeah. Why do you like MGK when he sucks? <laughs> <laughs> I like MGK because he's similar to me. He does like the rap thing, but he's like still super hardcore at the same time. And he's handsome like you. That's very true, yeah. <laughs> we were both blonde, both covered in tattoos. Both listen to rock and rap. We're the same person, bro. It's the best of all the worlds, bro. And my missus is hot like a vegan fox. <laughs> that one's for you, Montana. <laughs> Go do um incline dumbbell press. So another thing with like my chest especially is I can't connect the chest fuck all. So that's like why I start with a cable. So I've got tension on it the whole time, you know? So it's not like I'm jumping straight into a press where if I did that my shoulders would take over, my front delts would get fried, and I'd get no pec activation at all. So starting with a cable, with the resistance of the cable, plus obviously like either starting with like a cable press or a cable fly, that resistance keeps my muscle activated. It's then gonna help me when I come into pressing and all that shit. What color quick silver shorts are you gonna wear? 
I wonder who that's from. So, no one else knows about it, but between me and Bo, we have a bet. Whoever places lower than the other person has to do a men's physique style check-in wearing Quicksilver shorts and post it on Instagram. You're not allowed to delete your social media after you post it because it's fucking social suicide. But I, there's no way I'm wearing this Quicksilver shorts. <laughs> Bo better start finding out what size he is. <laughs> I'll buy a bowl pair. Well, that's my whole motivation for this prep. Make sure you don't have to wear Quicksilver shorts and do a men's physique pose on Instagram. Not that they're not bodybuilders. Watch out, yeah. dangerous territory right now. They're just half bodybuilders. <laughs> I don't know why we have to be nice. Alright, uh, next cue. What is your favourite meal in prep and why is it sourdough? Bro, okay, this one is. Everyone to understand. <clears throat> sourdough is like, when you toast it, something about it, bro, like, you get that crunch of the crust, but it's like soft and fluffy on the inside. Bro, that, with a little bit of banana, a little bit of cinnamon, and like, sometimes when I'm feeling a little bit crazy, shred a little bit of chicken over it, and then put some salt over the top of that. Bro. Sounds premium. That is game. <laughs> that is just game. <laughs> that is like, that's what builds muscle. Not the 10 fingers of red spread. What about swapping the banana out for dates? I wouldn't put dates on the salad. That's a bit Ooh, crazy. It's controversial. I don't know if I'd, I wouldn't be able to spread it. What would Liam Denton say about that? <laughs> I'll give Liam that bro. He changed my whole post-workout. Like, I went from an okay post-workout meal to like the top tier of post-workout meals. It's that team Crabtree shit bro. It's a community. <laughs> Who has the better taste of music, you or Montana? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were gonna fuck with me with this. So Montana tells everyone that she got me into like heavy metal music, like metalcore and all that sort of shit. And bro, it does me in because way like back when I was like 17, 18, I remember listening to like when Stand Up and Scream by Asking Alexandria came out. Even like Sam Paternal by Bring Me The Horizon, bro. That was the first Full metal, like kind of metalcore album I listened to ever. I remember when it dropped. That and like Avenged Sevenfold and shit. And now I went through like a phase where I kind of was only listening to like rap music and shit. And as soon as me and Montana got back together, or got together, bro, I've started like obviously like going back into that side of like all my music again, like re diving into that side. And now she's going around telling everyone that she got me into it. I'm like, bro, you're actually tripping out. I will give it to her though, she gives me a lot of music. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of my favourite bands did come from her, but she's definitely not the reason why. Are you doing the state show as well as nationals? Well, yes. I'll be, I'll be doing the SA show. A lot of people thought I was doing Brisbane because I was obviously living in Brisbane for that short amount of time, but I'm doing the SA show eight weeks out, but yes, I will be doing nationals. I was gonna do nationals last time, but like I touched on earlier, my quad was all fucked up. I had that infection in my leg, and obviously I had to have surgery on that, so that pretty much ruled nationals out of the question. I'm happy that I didn't do nationals last time, you know, because one, I was a skinny bitch. I was like, I had no muscle on me. You know what's crazy that I was thinking about actually? Bro, when I was did my first prep, my ego was so fucking big and I didn't even realize because I was in the moment. And like, if anyone can take anything from this video is, when you're in the moment, you don't realize how egotistical you can be. Where like now bro, like, Bro, where I was last prep, I thought I was like twice as big as I am now. And like where I am now mentally is like, I've been in that headspace, like that ego fucking driven, 
cunt pretty much. And like now I'm so self-aware and try to humble myself every day. Like I won't let myself get like that. Like I'll never let myself have an ego. Like if I feel like I deserve like my flowers for what I've done, then like that's how I feel, but I won't ever have an ego about it. So I, I'm glad I didn't do nationals last time because I wouldn't have really like appreciated it and I wouldn't have taken it in where I am. Like a lot of people think of nationals as like, oh, it's just like another show, but really man, when you think about it, like you have to do a state show to qualify and then you have to fly over to another state just to do a bodybuilding show. Like nationals is a pretty big deal, dude. So I'm happy that I didn't do it back then. I'm happy this will be my first time because I'm much more confident in the package I'm bringing this time. I'm not just a pair of fucking quads this time. I've got, <laughs> I've grown a couple of other muscles than just that one. So, I'm not really focused on nationals though. I don't, honestly, I don't think about it at all. All I'm focusing on is the state show. And that's all love for all the SA boys. Nothing but respect. And I won't ever speak disrespectfully, disrespectfully about any of one, anyone that I have to compete against. I'm grateful for everyone that I have to compete against and like, them being so good is only making me better. But at the end of the day, it's still a competition and I still want to be able Respect. Yes, Respectfully. My tries are so pumped, and they still look shit. <laughs> that is a wrap for today's Saturday session. It's a little bit of a late one. I normally train a little bit earlier in the day, but um, you know, Corey was interstate and all that sort of shit. So grateful that my boy came through and filmed this for me. From here, we're gonna try and get like content all the time, but this time was gonna be different. Like, I'm not gonna do it as like a prep series and just film what's in prep, even though I'm obviously in prep, but. We'll do some more cool shit so it's not just like boring. So it's like, I want people to be able to like watch YouTube videos when they're sitting at home on the couch, just chilling. So maybe next shoot we'll do some food, full day of eating, or so pre-workout meal and then train or whatever. But when we drop this, make sure you comment or send me a DM what you want to see next. Me and Corey will get you them videos, my boys. So until then, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>